Nybert let the returning state champ start to pull this leg in, and then brought his right hand down, blocked returning state champ's elbow, took his tight waist hand, and dropped down and grabbed that elbow. Do not make this difficult, guys. My left hand has his left elbow. Can you guys see that? Once, I'm not lying, guys, I swear, my name is Jeff Jordan. When my guy grabbed that elbow, I hit my assistant coach and said, we just want a state title. Zach Nyber, seven seconds later, pinned the returning state champ to win his first of two state titles. Once he trapped this elbow, he hipped in, blocked the returning state champ's knee, and dropped him right here to his left hip. Don't get your hand trapped here. Once you see him going down, get this hand posted. He did this here, hipped in, knocked the guy to his hip, posted his hand right here. Hey, guys, the next thing I want to tell you is the whole key to move. All right, partner's going to keep his hands locked. As I keep lifting this elbow, I take my right knee, it's got a knee pad on it, and I'm going to block Bryce's face. Have to do this step. As I keep circling my hand, my right knee comes in front, and I block his face. Once I block his head, guys, I keep circling, keep circling, I step all the way over, just like you're riding a horse, right here. Niver and Taylor, they would always double great. Most of my guys have one foot on one side, one on the other, hand down here, right here on the forehead. Hey guys, the whole time, I didn't let go of that elbow. Guys, this technique, no lie. We probably get 75 to 100 pins a year on the Grand High School team. We pin, we pin, and we pin. And this is one of our big ones. Uh, the guy that led our team in pins this year, uh, Nolan Gessler, he won the state at 126. He, uh, his record was 38-3. He won the state, he pinned 32 guys. Of the 32 guys, I bet you 30 of them from this move right here. He would do it from everywhere. All right. Again, oh, I cannot do it when he's like this. Why? His head's in the way. I can't do it when he's got the leg pulled in. Why? He's in a good stance here. I do it, guys, right when his head and elbow's clear, or if he's extended this way. That's when you do it. Taylor and Niver, they would let, let the guy pull the leg in. They just brought here. I cannot do it from here. His head's in the way. I can't do it. Can you guys see that? Can't do it. They would actually. Let the guy pull the leg in, and they drop down and trap him. Once again, once you trap, knock him down. I have to block his head with my knee. If I don't, guys, I take off spinning. He's going to keep his head right here on my inner thigh, all right? And watch this going to happen. He's going to do this right here. I got to let go, and he's going to score from there. Or he's going to be in a head inside sink. Have to block that head. Once I tap him down, have to do this step here. Knee comes right in front. I block his face, can't move his head. I keep circling right here, hands posted on the mat. Again, Taylor and Nyberg, they always double great. Most of my guys, one foot on one side, one on the other. Hey guys, my first year of coaching, first year of, year of coaching, I tell them, you know what the ultimate wrestling is? I think breaking somebody, going out, taking the guy down, cutting, taking down, cutting until the guy does this. So we win matches 20 to 10, 18 to eight, whatever, 14 to seven. And then all of a sudden, guys, after my first year, I said, you know what? The ultimate wrestling is breaking somebody, but after we break them, what do we do then? We pin them. Why well, scores me six points? All right, so then I changed everything. You know what, guys? We're just not going to be takedown artists at Grant. We're going to take people down. We're going to break them by brawling and take them down. And then after they do this, then we're going to freaking pin them. And then, guys, here's what happened. Lee Flat. When we would break somebody, I'd yell my guys' names out. I think two biggest pinners. Three biggest pinners ever in the history of Graham were my son, Mickey, Alex Marinelli, I don't know if you guys ever heard of him. I nicknamed him the Bull, all right? And also a guy by the name of Kobe Boyd, all right? Those three guys were pinning machines. When they would break somebody, when Mick would break somebody, Mick, or Bull, Bull, they look over, I'd give him the break sign. Come out front, what I'd yell, Mick. He'd look over, give him the break sign, come out front. Mick would do this, Marinelli would do this. Here they come out front, a guy come up, they drop their knee, they man up, cement job, throw them over, and pin them. Some of my guys don't have good cement jobs. All right, Eli Stickley, Eli Seipel, Nolan Gessler, Brent Moore, didn't have good cement jobs. When they would break somebody, yell their name out, hey Brent, come out front. Gessler, come out front. They do this. Here, they come out front, and they drop right here to the left knee. You know what the guy does every time? Grabs the leg, reach over, grab the arm, tap, block, step over and pin it. Partner, keep your hands locked the whole time and we keep that elbow until the ref slaps the mat. Make sense? Partner, head inside sink. Let's go.